Yeah, we'll make this good too. We'll make our own family. 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 And go and show Mr. Pion and Mr. Rosa and they will come to the video maybe because you know there is the position, you know there is the status, you know there is the name. 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 Boy, bro, God, me don't know how you go come out of this one end. Because every corner you turn, you get a joke. Every corner you turn right now, you get a joke. You turn the world against you, you know, bro, God. Right now, the people of the diaspora turn against you completely, you know. And they protest against you because they say, you're happy, go down. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, the people of the diaspora, Come out strong against the Prime Minister Andrew Wellness, aka Bro God, aka the Crime Minister. Now the people them decide say Andrew Afi go down, and them serious when them say that because them take it to the street. So both yard and abroad, I tell Andrew say fi go down. Them I tell the world say the Prime Minister must go down and this is really bad because when you have a prime minister a leader of a country and the people them turn against you the people them see you as an evil person then that is bad for you that is really 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 bad for you and the jamaican people them the people of jamaica plus the one them over there in the diaspora see you as a evil man but Bless up to my viewers and my subscribers them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every and uh, any situation, just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. Now my viewers and my subscribers, we have a lot coming up inside this update. So you definitely don't want to miss a hint of it. So leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And turn on the post notification bell for new content. Alright? We soon come. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are a new viewers, first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content. With a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. Now my viewers and my subscribers, make we start off this report with this. So my viewers and my subscribers, me see a video making the rounds on the social media space. And people have a lot to say about this video. So me even go as far as said that every time they hear a labor right and a recording, you can see say them not really have much education. But me who said they don't have the education, you know. I would have said brainwash them, brainwash. I would have said they were brainwashed. So them not really open to what is going on currently inside of this country. Now this brother went as far as say Labour right always buy vote for win. So if he went do it if them did do it again, them would have win. But check the video for yourself, people. Yes, man, and Miss and Miss Carl yesterday. Mm -hmm. And me, I tell you, Mr. Hughes, man, what I go on out here. It's terrible, but we still believe in Andrew and the same way and believe so he can do the work and carry the country forward, you know? Uh -huh. When you say yes, out here, what do you mean? In, in Jamaica, man, out in the street, man. In the street with that talk, man. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, tell me something. What do you think about Venice, Philip? You don't think that Andrew should have bring her in the people and see her somewhere? 
Yeah, so, yeah, see, something like that. What do you think? Oh? Where is your Philip? Where do you think she should be? Missy, you know, see the woman a champion, man. That woman should get to her seat, Mr. Yoho. Mm. Where? That woman... Where? Well, if I have to have seat, I have to have to But somewhere nearby, not too far. If I even somewhere in a Kingston. Yeah. Not too far from where? In a Kingston. In a Kingston. Oh, you want to get a seat in a Kingston? Yes, man. Because, but hardly uh, shall sit her way out in a Manchester. That's a true. That's a true. Still, but if all of me, then, me like them, I bring back, it's a, uh, is it Pantan? Oh, I saw that thing being circulated, but it's, I don't know if that is true. Mr. Pantan, oh. tell me that that's not so. Okay, okay. But really, and I hear you tell and call, I say, um, the Prime Minister, they, they, they might listen to the program, so then see the program, so... We want them to give you a vice out there, Mr. Hughes. Which vice you want to give? We want to listen with man. Listen with because the PMP, they understand, you know, Mr. Hughes. They not see Jamaica House, you know, you know. Mm-hmm. They might pick up a few seats. A few? Yeah. A few. But they not see Jamaica House, you know. Let me tell you where you want. Yes. You see what here? The United Local Government election. Mm-hmm. The PMP, then play the Labour Party game for them, you know. Money spend, I'm going use another message, you know. Uh-huh. Money spend. Some here, some here, and say they spend a whole heap of money. Yes, then I tell them people to come to me and tell me where they get money. But when I say, me here, my, my member, then my MP, the man calls her. And I hear, oh, the Prime Minister, good Prime Minister, the best Prime Minister. We say, we know that, we don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. When we are talking about well, what have you done for me lately? Oh, Mr. Hughes, let me tell you, man, you're not fooling me, Mr. Hughes, a long time we are listening to you, you know, man. <laughs> yes. A, a long time we're not fooling like you, head straight, we in our politics, you know. Mm-hmm. So, them um, say, what them want? Them want something for the vote? Yes, they're not that what politics are about, Mr. Hughes. Jeez. No one here to hear people say, look how they're fat. Everybody does eat them, get fat, they're not busy with me out there. Mm. All right, don't do anything, them, say, you, them over there, and we over here, because the EA people, they say, because they say, if GLP win tomorrow, uh-huh. they still have to go to work. If uh-huh. PNP win, they still have to go to work. Yes. But, Mr. Hughes, a hand to hold us, we want to control the thing, because some good things that go on in Jamaica, and I'm a bridging. Yes. You see, run a Portland, you see, you see where Han Marie do run a Portland, and Mr. Vaz? And where them do run there? Hold on for me, hold on, hold on. Time for the break. Now, me know what say Cliff Hughes want to tell this man, say, I crap him a chat, you know. And if you're not, if you're not just watch and see how Cliff Hughes just a laugh after this brother, you understand me? I say, why Jamaican people should I need something to vote? Why we should not sell with vote? Why we should not sell out with one self? Huh? We are vote for a better country. Not vote for we belly full. Not to vote for rebellion full. Now you see why the country can't come better than we stay. And why them prime minister I deal with them. How we might deal with them because they vote for our belly full. Them no vote for better of the country. Them no want to see country come no better. Them only want no say when election time come. Then get food on them table. Food in them plate. Rum for drink. And them all right. Them no want nothing more than that. And if you listen to this man, then he tell you exactly what I am saying. This man no want nothing more than money for vote. Lick or something. And then now, according to what he must say, a money PNP use for win the local government election. So JLP should do the same thing and then them would have win. My friend, listen, people, people tired of the JLP now. And them say time come. So you say if you can't digest that, you go choke up on it. You are going to choke up on it because the people of Jamaica say time come. If you blind so what they go on in this country, me don't know what else to show you. Because I don't know what you they talk about. And I don't know what you want to talk about Han Marie Vaz and Dare Vaz and all of them are doing because all of them are going to pack them bag and go. And the Jamaican people, them, them not licky licky. So them not go ever accept no food for vote. 
them now accept not five thousand dollars for vote. So you and your people them can continue take that little something there. What one always like get they vote because we don't have a sense, we don't have a knowledge of what is going on inside of this country and we just not care what they go on in the country. We don't just not care. And we always hear them say, Labour right just want want five thousand of a vote and I just prove it for myself. But my viewers and my subscribers, do leave your honest opinion on what that man said. Do you believe that we all Jamaicans should collect money for we vote on the fees of the people them, where they, where they, where they, where they, where we are vote for? Should I give you one five thousand and a little food for we go to the poll go vote? Let me know down below in the comment section because me know say this brother here. Him not think straight. And that's why I tell you to say they are brainwashed. Them brainwash them. Me not think them can come back to because them brainwash. You understand? But state an honest opinion down below in the comment section. Now my people, the people of the diaspora, the diaspora, them get up serious this morning and them decide to protest against the violence we go on in Jamaica and them decide to protest against the corruption and the corrupted system and most of all protest against Juliet Wallinus and Andrew Wallinus. Now people, the people them want them to step aside because according to what the people are saying, under this government you find the most corruption and the, one of the wickedest government ever Greece Jamaica. Yes, my people. So, right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to play a video so you guys can have a better understanding of what I am talking about. You understand what I say? But do remember to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. Now people, check out the video and like up the video. Happening well, now in New York, Mr. It. Prime Minister, well, time for you go. Free, free. We need water. We need road. The people dying in the Mandeville Hospital. We have to go there in December and we have to take my brother in law from the hospital and ship him to America. If it wasn't America, what happened to the poor people who can't buy a ticket to come to America when they are sick? Mr. Health Minister, time for your go. And I beg South St. Elizabeth people, stand up for the right. We now sell out the land. We now sell out the land to those Chinese people. People who are going to touch land, but they are going to ask for price. We look good, eh? Yes. Number two, five. Number two, five. Number two, five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. One of the biggest mouths. You know, I'm going to listen to Mr. President Jamal Kiki, man. But there's a guy who's more bigger than me, one. I went in talk. No dog box. Ladies and gentlemen, the man even has the name of the country attached to his name. In the name James, he was in Jesus Christ. When the end? When the end? When the end? Where are we family? Tonight. Tonight. Where are we on family? The man has no respect to everybody. Where are they? Where are they? No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. Who's Jamaica? Oh, 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 no justice? No, no justice? No One of our family from last time is coming about family thing. I have to go back to return the input of the turn back. My business is that. The day after today. We're glad to see the turn on. What a beautiful thing, Jamaica. You say we love the country. No matter how we're going to bring down the country. Bring down what? Uh, up for where the country go. Up, I never dug it down. Up, I never dug it down. Uh, over there, so we can file the taxes and code of conduct have to be up there. Staff to the have to be up there as citizens. It means that we own Prime Minister can do the right thing, brother. In our hearts, we know. We don't want to you know, beg them. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. No justice. No justice. No peace. They must say, what do we want? Integrity. What do we say? Integrity. What we want? What we want? What do we want? What we want? What do we need it? Who's Jamaica? Who's Jamaica? Who's Jamaica? What do we want? What we want? All right, we're doing good. We're doing good people. That's what.
We don't swap the country back. So nobody we can go to Jamaica. The crime in Jamaica is coming from corruption. Corruption breeds crime. Believe me, corruption breeds crime. What is going on in the bottom is a symptom of what is coming from top. Called corruption. If the father now run the house good, everything broke down down the bottom. If the father now run the house good, everything break down. You them now have no manners. Them now have no principle. Them now be another on the road. So we got to talk about what we want. Justice. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? It. What do we want? So as you can see my viewers and my subscribers, the people them now all about nothing. Them decide say them want justice for what Andrew Wallace has do to the country. Justice. You understand me? I say it is a mess the way how the crime rate are going in Jamaica. It is a mess how the education system are going, how the pitney them get out of control, how them are fight them one another, how them are set them one another three points. No love. Now they among our children again. And this are caused from up ahead. Where our politicians behave like a bullies in our country. Them behave like I say yo. Them no feel like I say pick me and watch them. You understand me I say people? So that are the example where them set for our children. Chopping. War. Violence. Live bad amongst each other. Are that are the example where the politician them set for our children mash up the mind of the children them are you know who me say I do it nowadays the people them on the social media platform we get up every day with beer nonsense cause and galang bad and disgrace the one end up on the internet and not realize it them little brother and them little sister they watch them so they might behave just like the politician them now so we know nobody if you set no better example for we children them. So them be if you see them, we all them see that everybody are behave. You understand me? I say, but it really sad. And not just in the school, but in the healthcare sector, in the system of healthcare, is a mess. It is a national disgrace because at the end of the day, our healthcare system is the worst in the world. You're trying to sick and go to hospital. You're trying to sick and go to hospital. Because you must come back alive. That's the problem where we have right now. And then now, it now become no better. But people say the thought and that down below in the comment section. And as usual, remember to leave a like on this video. Give this video a thumbs up. I am going to leave you with this video from... Lick of fire himself, make him go and blaze it. Jamaica, Audi. So, I just saw a video of a young lady, Jamaican young lady, who apparently had a situation with Western Union. It seems as if someone apparently or allegedly someone sent her some money from overseas and she went to pick it up of course when she got there she was told that the money was already collected by her them run her ID four times at the end of the video she said them run her ID about four times security and people run her ID and it is still showing on the system that she collected the money. Now it's one of the two things. Maybe the young lady is senile. Maybe she's senile. Or. Maybe she was really scammed. Is it impossible for that to happen? No. This is Jamaica. And we know that. <laughs> Everybody at Chappie Line. And a chappy line hard to. People of integrity are chappy line. Accountants. Nurse. Doctor. <laughs> Not to mention the politician them. They are chappy line. Police. Soldier. 
every credible person or group that you can think of have a number of persons within the organization or just a choppy line and by chopping the line you don't know what I mean a scam okay that's fine scamming everywhere but there are measures to put in place when things like these happen not only measures should be put in place but the institutions in question they lock down until we discover what the problem or where their security got breached but them can't do that if you lock down money gram you have touch some our western union or any one of these financial institutions ncb or any one of the banking sector them for lock them down for the thorough investigation for odd earn jamaican money we go missing be it persons within the diaspora who worked very hard to send it back home or persons who have it here who work hard for their money and just to be scammed of it and nothing comes out of it unless you have a big name like bolt golden one of them big name there then something can come out of it all less yeah man Paul well the big shot people them vars in the country and all of the top shot of people them in the country if anything go wrong with them kiss instantly solved problem solved but is it the common jamaican not a thing now come out there just the other day just recently a gentleman a car dealer from Mandeville put out a video and he spoke about his experience at NCB how he woke up and both accounts that he has there were completely wiped out US dollars totaling millions of Jamaicans allegedly And based on his video, he said that the customer care rep that he got a hold of was able to divulge credible information that said the money left from NCB and went to Scotiabank Ligani, allegedly. This is not the first or the second or the third person whose monies just go missing without the token. The token that's like a security thing where you can't grow my money unless you get my token, but them grow it and them get it and um, the money moved. The money is wired to another institution and nobody in the little country that's a little piece of country. Yeah. Can't find back your hard earned Jamaican people and money. Can't find it. But when you, inf when you get people from, from Scotland, you all all vote. Come down here. All the forensic experts moved to SSL. As a matter of fact, we wanted to preserve the monies for these important Jamaicans who got swindled or scammed. Are their funds being misappropriated? We went as far as overseas to get forensic auditors and investigators and all kinds of people to check on the money, where the money go, and who we get lock up. Big news for months. Hmm? As a matter of fact, the situation is so special that our government, our <laughs> government, to the finance minister, they agreed to basically taking care of SSL workers because they needed to have the 
computers up and running while you know these investigators do their jobs as if you man them not have their special people for doing they want to because there's no way that you can be investigating a crime and still have people who are not a part of the crime unit sitting in the crime scene uh, 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 meddling with the computers that the investigators really want to find out what go where. Uh, yeah. But it's alright, it's alright. Because we are idiot. We are bad with we we flipping head big like a like a goody. We we'll take it away with idiot. So we needed to keep the staff at SSL while the people of the mess investigation number one if you lock down and everybody who work there should be investigated beyond leaf <laughs> probably we don't even pay because we don't give a damn we want the problem solved and we want the Jamaican them who have been hurt to get back their money now it's a command to Christmas and we tell people already say we don't think we don't see theft yet Mm? You think you're going to say nothing yet? You think you're going to say crime yet? You think you're going to say crime yet? Because there's nothing that these politicians who have gotten 300% increase had do about it. Nothing. Nobody for represent the ordinary Jamaican. We don't nobody for represent you. We don't nobody know. We don't nobody. And number one, when we get all the people which is independent, we don't want it. We do constantly want these two colonial criminals, or bastards, or groups from 1941 until now. Who do want them? Who do always want them? And them who do want to manage our affairs? And them who do trust? Who do trust them? Who do trust them so much that ah, when they're going to water, they're going to road, they're going to security, they're going to defend you. Who do still love them? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Some of them don't know what water look like. Unless they don't go a road. Go a beach or a river. Because they never see it now on the pipe. But they don't steal food for them. <laughs> choo -choo. But let me tell you something. It's safe when I do something now. It's safe when I do something now. If we don't do something, somebody was calling me. It's safe if we don't do something now. We're dead now this. There are thousands of Jamaicans who are going to be swindled out of them hard earned money through these institutions and nothing nothing is going to come from it nothing mark my word yeah I'm going to take care one love one love drop some comment in our comment section and me what I'm going to feel about how you scamming book and you not get no no coverage, no protection from those who are responsible. The Ministry of Finance, the government, the Prime Minister, well, who we'll vote for.